Auditing your PPC is so important. So in this video, we're gonna be diving into the things you need to look at when you audit your PPC, as well as things that impact your conversion rate. So let's get into it. The most important thing about auditing an account is figuring out exactly where all your ad spend's going, where the conversion rates are, what's doing the best, and being able to reallocate things where there are inefficiencies. So we have a bulk sheet up here, which is what we use for auditing our clients. If you don't have a bulk sheet like this, you can use search and report, so it's relatively straightforward to do. But these are the things that you wanna actually be looking for when you do audit your account. So first you wanna start off where the spend is going by ad type. Sponsored products is all about ranking, so you wanna have most of your spend going into ranking on sponsored products. The others are great. Uh, you can get good sales on sponsored brands, and as you can see, they're getting another 10% of their sales from sponsored brands, but you can see there's more that you can do. You can be targeting a bit more on sponsored display and headline search ads. So if you break it down, you can see where potentially you could be missing out on increased sales, but sometimes you might find the conversion rate just isn't good enough. It's better to focus more on the ad that's doing the best, which in this case is sponsored products. Next, you wanna be going into match types. So for example, on this brand, the conversion rate is better on broad and auto, but just because it's better doesn't mean that you wanna stick with those because they are discovery campaigns. So you might wanna be doing some work on the exact match side, changing your exact match terms. So moving some of those good performing terms over as well as adding in negatives. So that will make the conversion rate better, but also makes your exact and phrase match a lot better performing. So you wanna be able to actually dive in, have a look where the spend's going and determine what stuff you wanna be running. You can also break it down by ad types. So sponsored brands see exactly what match type you're doing it in, as well as sponsored display, which there currently is none. But you also wanna look at branded keywords. So branded keywords are very important to be looking at. So see here there's not really much on branded terms and that means if the brand is well known there's a lot of things you can be doing differently so you want to be checking are your branded terms getting a lot of sales if they're not fix that if you've got a lot of non-branded terms that are generating sales great that means you are growing the brand and getting more exposure but important things to be looking at you also want to be looking at a nice comparison that shows you branded versus non-branded so here gives you a pretty good breakdown of that. So branded keywords and branded ASINs, comparison and conversion rate versus non-branded keywords and keyword targeting. So important to break it all down, see exactly where you're at in terms of ad spend. Now, next, you wanna look at the search term funnel. So the search term funnel breaks everything down by how much you're spending on, on terms of get no sales, how much you're spending on search terms that get one sale. Break it all down by branded and non-branded keywords. So, so you can see spend is being generated primarily on terms that get more than five sales per term, as well as non-branded keywords. So efficiency on those is pretty good, and you can see the conversion rate isn't too bad. But interesting enough, some of these keywords that get one, two sales have a much higher conversion rate. So potentially, they're not getting enough budgets. Then you have on top of that, search terms that get no sales at all, which you're spending out of the budget of 114,000, 30,000. So that does account to be quite a lot of money month on month. You're talking 360,000 a year. So you can really be tackling all of this, making sure your negative keywords within the search term reports, within auto phrase and broad match campaigns, and maybe running more things as exact, because then you won't be targeting as many random keywords that maybe aren't as relevant. So really important to be looking at this. Now, next thing you wanna look at is the actual search term funnel. So here you can actually break down what keywords are performing in what capacity, and from there, where can you improve things? So for example, this keyword here, you can see it generates 6,600 NAD sales, it spends, 2200 a month, you've got a conversion rate of 27%. Impression score, that means you're getting a 2% market share overall. And you're getting, in the most part, sponsored product broad, sponsored product phrase, but you're not getting much exposure on 
sponsor brand video exact broad and phrase so these are ways you can improve also you're not running headline search ads so you can look at every keyword whether you're running them on all the match types that you should be if that is a really important keyword to your product then potentially you want to be running video for that you want to be running exact match here obviously you can see that they're all running as an exact which is good but you want to make sure that you are targeting everything that you can be if it's relevant to your product now sometimes you can have ppc in the right place but you're having an issue with the listing which is causing the conversion rate to go down so sometimes it's not all going to be down to ppc you need to actually go into the listing and make some changes there so I've got a listing up here on some ideas that I can share with you, things you need to be looking at if you have within your listing. And it's gonna vary based on the niche, but it'll give you some ideas on what you need to look for with your products. Now, for this product, they have a good amount of reviews. So reviews is a big factor. If you have low reviews, you're not gonna perform as good on PPC. And sometimes if you have low reviews, you're gonna to have to perform bad at PPC for quite a while before you can get those numbers up. So very important to keep that in mind. The gallery images, right? I think it's quite important that they are very technical. They're looking at the actual products. They're talking about what the product does. So about the Bluetooth, about the, the range, Wi-Fi connections, all of that, very important. But the missing one thing in the gallery is how it looks on your desk because people love good speakers and they love to know all the tech specs, but they want to see how it looks on their desk. A sample of a desk which they do have in the a plus content and it just shows how they look they look pretty nice and clean next to a big monitor so that's the sort of thing people want to see and this applies to other products as well so think about it if you're selling clothes you want to see how they look on somebody you want to be able to picture yourself wearing those clothes if you see dog toys you want to see a dog maybe running for those toys there's a lot of things you need to do when it comes to marketing your product so that you can tap into people's emotions in that way. So as a marketer, you need to have a very good feel for what your niche is. You need to have very good images that capture that. So images need to be a, a good mix between infographics, lifestyle images, and educational. So that's the only thing they're missing here. But when it comes to the actual bullet points of the listing, Short and sweet is what I would say. Keep them reasonable, straight to the point, gets the facts across. So that's what they do here. They're talking all the tech specs, which is what we want for a speaker product. And for the main title, it's different because it's a known brand. So they can put whatever they want, they will get sales. But for you, you need to be very descriptive into what you're doing. One keyword, just stereo computer speakers, that's probably not enough for most people. You need to add in more characters into the title, make sure you're maximizing how much you're in there because when you're actually in the search, you're only gonna see the main image, the title, the reviews, and the price. So you need to get as much information that's relevant in there as you can, but keep the title reasonably sized. So A plus content as well is relatively important. Keeping it premium, so full size of the page looks good adding a video in there also makes the listing look good so you know this brand they're doing an okay job i would say they can definitely do better but they're a known brand so they are going to get plenty of sales anyway but for you as a brand owner these are all things you need to be doing because you don't get the easy side that they do with a known brand you have to build up your brand build up the trust with your customers so Listing will be very important. And even if you have low reviews, having a good listing can really help your conversion rate. So on top of that, you need to be looking at price. So if you find your price a lot higher than everyone else, you're gonna have some problems. And that's the reality of it. If you have low reviews, you have a much higher price, you need to really demonstrate why you're better. And for some people, they really struggle with that. But if you can get good at that, you will get the sales. One of the things that I like to suggest is an us versus them comparison chart. So why are you better versus the average in the industry? So if you're better and your price is higher, you need to explain why. Why are you better? What in your product is better than everyone else? And if you do that and you say, put it as image two, people are highlighting over it and they can see why, 
they will make the purchase. These people, when it is a higher priced item, they like to look at the listing thoroughly in some cases. Under $20, of course, people are just gonna buy it without reading. But if you are selling a premium product, you wanna have all of that information so people who do read up can read and find the information they want. We hope you found that helpful and hopefully it allows you to audit your Amazon PPC and get a better idea on how your listings can improve. If you want help with your Amazon PPC, you can contact us below, kickstartppc.com. We'll audit your account in the same way we've just showed you, see what we can do to help you out. And of course, if you need more information about Amazon PPC, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got tons of Amazon PPC and FBA content like this that we upload every week. So you won't want to miss out on what's up and coming and what we've uploaded before. So until the next video, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you soon. Bye.